Hey everybody, welcome to day number four of Vlogmas. So today I am going to be doing a Christmas house tour. As you can see, my tree is up behind me. Hopefully you guys enjoy this video. Um, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more Vlogmas videos coming up in the next few days until Christmas. And um, yeah, so let's go ahead and get started. So I'm going to go ahead and start with our front door. Um, this is the only thing that we have outside besides a um, projector, a snowflake projector. Um, but this wreath was actually gifted to me. I believe it's homemade. Um, but I just love the color of the wreath against the color of my front door. So let's go ahead and head on inside the house. So this is my entryway. The only thing that you really have is this here. It's just a glass block that says jingle all the way with snow and some jingle bells hanging in the middle there. And then over on the stairs we just have this cute little reindeer. And then looking up at our banister, this is the upstairs. Um, we just have the greenery there. Alright, so coming down the stairs, it is actually quite messy. Um, Lucas was just down here, but the first thing you're going to see is this tree here. This is just a small four foot tree. And then over on our couch, we just have the buffalo plaid blanket and pillows. And then over here, we just have that super cute pillow. I think I actually got this on Black Friday last year for like two dollars I think at Menards I believe if I'm remembering correctly. Above our couch is just our window mantle. I love decorating this um, mainly because it's just so simple but it's so beautiful as well. I just have Dollar Tree snowflakes, garland, and a couple of pine cones among our pictures and our name tile. So over here is our dog, can dog kennel that we use as a side table. Um, again, we've got the buffalo plaid and then we've got our nativity set as well. I do wish that I could expand on that. Um, so hopefully in years to come I can find some more. And then when you come over here to the TV, up on the top of the bookshelf I have my village, which I am absolutely in love with. Um, I'm hoping next year I can have some kind of shelving unit or maybe I'll be able to like trickle it down onto this bookshelf. So this is my kind of my little reading nook over here. So I've kind of made it all of my own. Um, the buffalo plaid again with the oh deer pillow. This blanket I got this year at Walmart for $5. It's a Fala Lama, <laughs> which I am absolutely in love with. And then I've got the Fala Lama Kleenex is there. And then over here at the window, I've got just our normal decorations with the Merry Christmas bucket and the little sprigs of tree and berries there as well. And then coming over here next to my reading area is my bookshelf with all of my books and then decorations to fill in. Um, 
I have this pretty gold bell with a Christmas tree on it. And then this is another DIY mason jar craft that I did. I painted the inside of the mason jars and then added the twine and the Dollar Tree floral inside. And then we've got my little snowmans um, next to my sea and then an apple cinnamon candle. And then going down the bookshelf we have a little penguin and a candle that says I'm having a meltdown. Um, it's just kind of cute and sort of relevant. Um, and then the stocking back there is Maddie's. She This is our first Christmas without our yellow lab. Um, and we just did not have the heart to get rid of that. So I put it next to her favorite toy and her um, picture there. And then a little bit further down we just have the little gold Christmas tree. And then just up in the window I have the Christmas trees sign. Um, like my pumpkin sign, but this one is just Christmas trees. Alright, so coming in up the stairs, I'm going right into the kitchen, and we'll start over here next to my stove where I have my hot cocoa bar, hot cocoa coffee bar. So here we've got a penguin with peppermint marshmallows, a coffee cup with candy canes in it, a little train, and then this cute little milk and cookies for Santa plate with the little ceramic milk jug, and then I actually found that sign in the back at Dollar Tree. just says, have a cup of cheer. Um, I thought it was the most adorable thing and perfect for a little coffee bar. And then the background is actually wrapping paper. I got this idea from um, the channel Beauty and Ordinary Things. So I'll link her down in the comments as well. So go check her out. Um, I watched her coffee bar video and <laughs> absolutely loved it. Um, and I love the idea of using wrapping paper as a backsplash, especially if you don't have a backsplash and you think your walls behind your counters are pretty ugly. Um, but then I just have that little candle over to the side. And then this is my refrigerator. Um, and I've just got an invitation up there for a Christmas party. And then all of the Christmas pictures that we have made into uh, magnets. And then coming over here... Um, we have my DIY silverware holders, my napkins, and then this pretty floral vase with uh, Dollar Tree flowers in it as well. Um, I did do a DIY video on those silverware holders, so I'll link that above as well. And then coming over here to the table, I have my beautiful new metallic tablecloth. And then in the center, I just have a charger plate with my other uh, LED lantern. Um, and then this is Fluff. He is our version of Elf on the Shelf. And this is just the card that Santa sent with Fluff. This is over by my sink. We've just got a couple of paintings that I did. And then these are actually my Christmas cards. I have them out on the counter so I don't forget to do them. And then here I've got a set of uh marble polar bears a mama and her two babies and then a light up ornament that is not going to go on the tree because it is 100 percent glass and we do not need any more glass ornaments in this house and then my diy wine glass it says drink up grinches and then coming across the sink i just have my winter scented bath and body 
hand soap, jumble of things over here, a couple of candles, a deer, and then my Jackson Hole snow globe. And then my favorite, I think it's called the Fair Isle pattern towel that I got at Joann Fabrics this year on Black Friday for $5. And then up above the sink, I just hung some snowflakes. They're just the Dollar Tree glitter snowflakes, but they're really pretty at nighttime when I turn my sink light on. They kind of sparkle as they move through the air. Okay, so then we come to our living room with this Christmas tree. Um, we don't really have a set theme for it, except obviously we've got the buffalo plaid and the red. And then down here, we have our Polar Express train that Lucas is obsessed with, Emma is obsessed with, and Bella is obsessed with it as well. Alright, so over here we've got our Christmas countdown chalkboard my Noel sign with the diffuser behind it. In my diffuser today I have cinnamon leaf and orange essential oils. And then my Merry Christmas Table Runner, Kleenex box with Santa, and then our Christmas 2018 photo frame without our photo in it yet. Uh, moving down the chalkboard, this is where I'm going to be putting all of my Harry Potter ornaments as I get them. And then our 2017 elves. And then over here, we've got our stack of children Christmas books. And then just sitting over here, we've got our yearly Christmas book with um, a Christmas candle holder with the plates in it instead of a candle. All right, and then if you watched my fall decor video, you would have seen these wood panels in that one as well. I have decorated it for Christmas with just some deer ornaments and garland and Dollar Tree floral sticks. And then this is also where I'm going to be putting all of our Christmas cards as well. And then coming down the hallway to our picture wall, I just decorated the mirror with, again, garland and Dollar Tree floral sticks. And then last into my son's bedroom, turn right around to in the corner here, we've got, this is actually a gift bag that I framed and then added the little jingle bells. He is obsessed with trains and he's been obsessed with Santa as well, so this was pretty perfect for him. And then over on his dresser, he just has his little Christmas tree with his Hallmark penguin ornaments and then Santa and his personalized reindeer and little elf. As well, I hope you guys enjoyed my Christmas house tour. Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already for more videos like this during Vlogmas and then cleaning and lifestyle videos after Vlogmas and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys! Merry Christmas! Thank you.